Welcome. Welcome to American Alpha Male. I'm glad you're here. Blessed that you're here. All I ask that you do, give me some feedback. Let me know what y'all like. Let me know your dislikes. Hold on. Zombies. Up here? Oh, hey, hey, get back, get back. I know you really, you really mad. Yeah, you really, so you really mad because we, we, we ranking on you, my Bro, you huh? doing too much. Though, I'm just bro. saying, man, we joking, though. Oh, you doing too much, we bro. We joking with you, right? We, we joking. Real. Just joking with you, baby. We choking with you, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We choking yeah, yeah, yeah. with you, my. You really joking? Nah, 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 yeah, nah, we always nah, choking, man. Talking about real shit, yeah, though, man. Jokes. Talking about real shit. Jokes, man. Jokes. How you think we joke? Come on, bro. Jokes. We, come on, bro. We've been we've been friends fifteen jokes. years, bro. Take shit to a different level, though. What is jokes? Grown ass me and my. What is your grown ass me and my. Watch out, man. Watch out, man. The f you on camera, my n Oh, you you up it? You up it? Hold on, hey, hey, get back, get back. Hey, get back, get back. Get back, what's up? Let me got you on camera, n***a. We, we been, we been 15 years. Okay, okay, hold on. Okay. Are you up, bro? Say, hey, all right, okay. That shit quite my n***a, you wrong. You wrong, my n***a. You wrong. What you saying? Oh, you wrong, my n***a. No. Hands up. Tell my n***a. Oh, we know your mama, n***a. We, we know your mama, n***a. Give a f***. No. Calm down. What you talking about, my n***a? 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 What you talking Chill out. Shit going on, bro. Chill out. Chill out. All that friend shit. When I come around from here, I'm not coming back, bro. Okay, that's what we doing. Do that's what we I'm doing. Do something if I we, bro, all of us know each other, mama, my nigga. Cause some jokes. Cause some jokes. Dead, some jokes. That shit dead. Some jokes. Bro. Yes, for some shit. jokes. Shit, you went too far, my nigga. No ain't no more joking, bro. No, 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 you up. Hey, you got it. You got it. I, I, I ain't coming it. back from this, bro. You don't you gotta man. come back you from it, my nigga. Wow. That's how I was supposed to go. Wow. That's how I was supposed to go. I do too. Wow. I changed my nigga. I'm still on that same shit. Wow. Yeah, wow. 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 What an absolute lame. You've been knowing these guys for over 15 years. Not 15 months, 15 days, 15 seconds. 15 years. Man even said he knows your mother and you know his. Now, <laughs> that would have happened to me. Yeah, I would have went ahead and, and made sure that his mom would have seen him in a box. I'm going to be honest with you. You don't pull. First off, you were in no danger. You were trying to get your quote unquote manhood back. They emasculated you. They basically made you feel like a kid. And what do you do? You behave like a kid. Guns are not toys. We may have referred to a bunch of things as toys, firearms, your doggone car. You knew whatever you have for water travel, but they are not toys. We mean that in a prized possession term. When I see people like that in all actuality, I get kind of sad for them. I know what y'all think. Why would you get kind of sad for them? Because if you mess around and find the right one, you ain't going to make it. 
Now, those guys weren't trying to escalate the situation because obviously they didn't have nothing on them. But that man is the exact reason why I need men to get back into the house or try to fight for your sons. Because there is no way in this world my sons would have even thought about doing anything like that. Your life was never in danger. That is a supercharged, emotional little boy. Then he said he has kids as well. So are you thinking about your kids if you were to get shot? I think he was a little bit afraid because you raise a gun twice and you didn't squeeze. I'm sorry. I'm not raising no gun towards nobody unless I plan on using it. I just won't do it. So that's what that is. But if you could just hear how he sound, how soft he sound, for y'all saying stuff that's real. You know what it is to tell your homies, hey, bro, come on, man, y'all y'all going over the line, man. If y'all keep going over the line, I'm just about to leave because y'all ruining the night, man. This ain't even funny no more. Now y'all making it a personal attack. Or if you really felt offended, you could have offered the fist fight him. But you too scared. You had to get your little gun. Instead of you getting embarrassed. That's sucker talk right there, man. And I hate when people like that get guns. Because people like that that have guns are the reason why I keep mine on me at all times. People like that. Who can't take a simple joke. Or might even got your feelings hurt. Let's say you got your feelings hurt. You can't. Them people been your people for a while. You can't tell them, hey, bro, man, that's hitting me low the belt. Come on, man. That ain't necessary. It does your people. They're going to be like, oh, my bad, man. We was just having fun. If anybody were to say anything as far as my homies go, and they say anything that hurt my feelings, I'm going to let them know right then and there. Hey, man, come on now. Now you're going too far, bro. That actually ain't cool, man. Like, you know what's going on. But you know what? You emotional. You scary. You didn't want to get beat up that night. So you try to enforce something the best way that you knew how to. And that's to grab that gun. Sad. Really sad. And it's really sad because if you think about it, that was his first inkling. It wasn't to leave. <laughs> it wasn't to leave. Because what was they going to say? Oh, he going to cry in the car. His first inkling wasn't to bounce about it there. His first inkling wasn't to tell a man, look, that's too far. And if it was really that serious, you ain't punched nobody. You ain't do none of that. You wouldn't grab a gun just to tell people what? I'm tough? There ain't nothing tough about that, man. These are the reasons why we need fathers back in their son's lives. Because without a father, that dummy think that that's all right. And I'm 100% sure he wouldn't tell his son that. Hey, son. When people are making fun of you and it seems like they're trying to hurt you with words, go ahead and get a gun. Nobody would teach their child that, but instead these morons will do it. I wish people like that understood how dangerous of a move he just did because some people know you. That's probably why they didn't end you because around me, I would have put you down. I probably would have took up somewhere. I don't got by a car. I would have withdrew my firearm and I would have pointed it at you. And as soon as you would have raised yours, I would have put three in you real quick. Bang, bang, bang. Then after that, hey, would have got close up on you, kicked your gun away, called the paramedics for you. Because I'm a nice guy. But men like that, I need you fellas to understand. Men like that are. Some of the scariest, most chumpified, most lame individuals ever. Because what would have happened if there were kids out there? Was he still going to do it? What would have happened if there was women out there? Was he still going to do it? Now, I'm not one of those people who advocate trash talking in front of you, homies. Unless it's funny. Unless y'all cool on that level. Y'all know these brides don't try to impress them. But that right there is cowardice. Me and mine, we probably would have said, man, you know what, bro? 
Don't come back around here, man. You can't take a joke. You really gonna pull a gun on us? Yeah, don't come back around, man. We don't gotta be cool. We don't gotta be enemies. We don't gotta be none of that. But I don't want you around me no more. Because obviously, you taking this too far. If that was my homie, you went and got your gun, I would have said exactly that. Man, we can't be cool no more, bro. You really got your gun for what? What's the reason for your gun? But I also would have played him close, too. So if he would have upped that, I would have shot his ass with no hesitation. I would have shot him with no hesitation. Put three quick ones in him. Pow, pow, pow. Friend or no friend, you are not allowed to play with my life nor anybody else's life around me. We not going to play that. And that's one of the worst things about that moron. He didn't get it. He didn't understand. But I get it. I understand. You scared. You're a little puppy. You can't run with the big dogs. <laughs> trash talking is a part of being a man and being with your friends. We're going to trash talk your team. We're going to trash talk the way you dress. We're going to trash talk you a little bit. It's not out of hate or anything like that. And if you took that as hate, then you need to get away from people like that. Like You have the power to select your friends or discontinue a friendship with anybody. Why was it your first inkling to be like, you know what, bro? Y'all that pissed me off, man. I ain't trying to hear none of that. I'm leaving. I'm getting up out of here, man. I don't want to hear that no more, man. I'm leaving. I don't want to deal with y'all no more. Because it seemed like all y'all want to do is trash talk me, man. You could have guilt them dudes like a mug, but you decided not to. And for that, I hope them people never mess with you again. I hope you are embarrassed by what you did. I hope you apologize, and I hope they kick you out of that crew. And I hope the only time you go back there is just to see your mama and then bounce. Because other than that, you wouldn't be accepted back where we from. But, hey... Make sure you share this with five of your people. And if you are one of those five individuals who have got this, man, somebody give a damn about you. And that's pretty awesome. Subscribe if you want to, but I think you will.